Hi everyone, Denise here. Um, as promised, this is my sketchbook tour video for sketchbooks I finished in 2016 and uh, 2017. Um, I'm usually pretty bad about like organizing my doodles or whatever, so this really helped me get a lot of my thoughts, um, stuff I liked, and just trying to get better at art in general. So. There's a lot of unfinished stuff, a lot of random like experiments, and trying out different materials. So, um, let's just get started. This is my moleskin from 2016. Wanted to test this out, like, I've never used moleskin before, so just wanted to see what it was like. I found out that I don't really like the way that it's bound like this. I kind of like it when it's book bound, but I'll get into that later. Um, just some random stickers, I felt like decorating it. Um, so I don't really like a lot of the pictures I drew in here, but I'll just show you anyway. Um, because it's just a lot of like concepts and ideas that I'm exploring. So here's like a sticker or stamp that said, like, this book belongs to me. Um, it's a random like Beyonce sketch. Um, some lips that I was like playing with. I don't know when I cut out, but I probably didn't like it, so it's not in there. Um, so these next images, I think I posted to social media, but this is when I was like starting to play Overwatch, and I really liked it, and also playing League a lot. So I had these ideas to do like a lot of crossover images with the heroes and the champions. Um, this was from June, so here's Barden May, Sipin Hakako, um, Mercy and Kale. You now they're always there for clutch moments, or chaos, I guess. Um, and then here's just like an unfinished rock band sketch of one of my favorite bands, Garbage. Never finished this because I just didn't like how it ended up turning out. So maybe I'll get back to that someday. Um, here is like a concept I, I guess I just never put on the paper. It's from my Overwatch League series. It's my idea was Torbjorn giving Heimerdinger like an armor pack or something. Maybe I'll draw it someday. Um, here's Nyadas and Syndra. Um, and Oriana's in the corner. Because she can't float like they can. Um, Zarya and Vi working out. So these are all done with color pencil and can't really remember what kind of brush pen I was using but I didn't like it so I don't use that anymore. But. Here's just like a random idea um, I had, and I was playing with Copics and this like oil-based marker that I got randomly, I think in Taiwan. Um, might try to redo this one at some point, but I don't like that it bled through, so kind of stopped using a lot of marker after that. Here's a, another thing that I never finished. Here's Lucio and. DJ Sona, it's part of the series, and this is I drew in August, so I was just drawing Overwatch and League Carriers on for like two months, I guess. Um, then I ended up doing more like figure studies, so I was drawing like a lot of lingerie, and then here's Zombie Boy with like this oil marker that I was using again, which I don't really like, but anyways. Um, Jinx and Junkrat. This was, then I like got a cat in August, so. We just drew her with some brush pens that I got. Um, here's a sketch from my boyfriend's soccer game. Not sure what this is. Um, I went to see Kubo. Um, super awesome. So I like drawing something from that. And then this was during playoffs of summer 2016. Um, just like randomly had this idea to draw the players with their team logos. Um, so yeah, here's Bjergsen and Jensen. And then here was a picture I drew that was inspired by a book I read during that time, which is A Regional Office Under Attack by Emmanuel Gonzalez. Super fun book and just felt like drawing something from it. So. And then here's another sketch that I started. Forget what book it was 
before, but anyway, I don't like that. Um, here's the picture that I drew from Worlds that was the same idea as the TSM Cloud9 sketch, but it's TSM versus RNG. This is, you can see it's super old because Double Lift was on TSM. Um, then here's like a random Lady Gaga sketch. Um, what is this? I honestly have no idea what this is. Anyway, um, here's like another like idea that I had was like pastry girls. And so here's like a girl with like croissant hair. And she has some like pastry tattoos. Um, drew the Storing Worlds, I think, because it's Korea hype train. But I didn't like how it was turning out, so never finished it. Here's like another pastry girl, which is a donut. Um, Palmier, pastry girl. And then I had these ideas to do some digital art with like tiled brick with some brush wallpapers, but obviously I never did that. So um, here's some more esports. Uh, this is World Championships 2016. Um, SKT versus Samsung it was like pretty hype. So yeah, figure versus ambition. Um, and here's more Overwatch. This was when Summer got released, I think. So it's like just really obvious, <laughs> like what I liked during the time, because um, I always brought uh, Dishonored 2. Yeah, I was just, I think this is when I got my Copic Guts and Feud nylon brush pen, and I was just fooling around with it. Um, I have a sketch of me and my cat, unfinished. Um, these are thumbnails for commissions I did in 2016. So, her thumbs. And then at the same time, I was also trying to design a Christmas postcard with my cat. Um, so, here's like the original one that I painted. I taped over it because I think I drew something super ugly and I really hated it. So, anyways, there's like a lot of that in my sketchbooks. Um, here's the original, and then this is when I got it printed, and I actually added like a metallic shine to it by hand. So, yeah, this is a postcard I sent all my friends. Um, I think this was when I was trying to design something for the Final Fantasy XIV healer contest. Never finished that. Because I ended up doing like a Black Mage inspired design instead. And then here's some more like commission thumbnails. Um, this was for my friend Steph Sigma Ru on Twitter. Um, I ended up doing something else, but yeah, I was just trying to figure out like a layout and sort of like here's a sketchboard character at the time. Um, and then I think the rest of this sketchbook is just figure drawing. So these are like 30 second sketches, I think. So yeah, this is all just figure drawing. Um, super fun. Just practicing. And then I ran out of space, so I just ended up like drawing all over the place. So yeah, it's just all figure drawing. Color pencil, pencil. Drawing, the drawing, random potato, just a big mood. Some more figures. I'll just draw everything in like all directions. But yeah, I think these are just 30 second gestures. Um, I think I really hated whatever was behind this, so I just taped over it. And that's it for. 2016. Um, yeah, so that's that. So moving on to my October 2016, 2000, end of 2017 sketchbook. So this is another moleskin. Um, I actually like this bookbound style better. Um, I just feel like it's like less flimsy and I can take it around without the pages getting like folded and stuff. So um, yeah. I also bought another one for 2018 that I already started. Um, put some stickers on it like I always do. Um, I bought this in an Animex one. I really can't remember who the artist was. So if you know, please reach out to me so I can tag her in the video because I bought some other ones of hers and I really love these. Um, so there's some random stickers I got from LPL um, at Worlds last year. So anyway, so this is my 2000, I started this here in October of 2016. Some, some stickers in here. Um, 
And then this, um, was like so excited that I got Mab, I got to meet Mab Graves, who's one of my favorite artists, and this is one of her stickers that she, she made when I ordered, I think I ordered one of her t-shirts when she worked with Mardigan, and she was here in LA releasing her, um, launching her t-shirt, her second like t-shirt run with them, so I was like super happy to meet her, and you know, so she wrote these like really cute messages. So she's super awesome, I love her. Um, and there's some more stickers. Um, this one I got from my friend Erica, who's also an amazing artist, um, E. Doyle. So yeah, I just wanted to fill this page up. And this page is also like super hard to draw on because it's like not really, it doesn't lay super flat. So I usually don't draw anything on that. So for October 2016, my theme was cloud cards. Um, I don't know why, I just, I have this, like on and off obsession with card capture Sakura, so I decided I wanted to draw clock cards with just brush pens and some highlighters. Um, so, so the funny thing is, is like all the pictures on this page are gonna be my 2016 pictures, and then I try to fill up the space on the other side, so it's like too, like really like new stuff and then super old stuff. But anyways, I'll just go through it quickly. So here's like another one, my second October, and then I was doing. Pinterest braid studies with pencil. And then this was my idea, my list for 2017 Inktober, which I didn't finish and I'll get to that later. Taped over something really ugly. Um, Vampire Hunter D sketch. Um, here's like a Shino Ringo sketch. Pencil and then my 2016 Inktober on the other side. This is ugly. Um, some more pencil sketches uh, from 2017. I was traveling in China then for Worlds, so I ended up being super behind. Um, and I just was so tired at the end of the day that I was just doing like little pencil sketches from pictures I liked. So this is what it was and this is my big mood from October 2017. And as you can see, like, I really I don't really like to use these moleskins for marker because it just bleeds through so that's why I just did like whatever sketches on the other side but I didn't want to waste the pages so here's another like pencil sketch from reference from um, October I was traveling and then this I did while I was traveling too I think I drew this on the plane um, and I wanted to do like a new version of my 2016 Inktober so I put like the LA time and then like Wuhan time this midnight or something. Um, I think I drew this on a plane and I fell asleep probably, which I never finished. Um, not sure what I messed up. Um, so yeah, this is bookmarked because, so this is what I made for my friends for Christmas the past year. And I knew that I wanted to print charms with my cat. Um, Cause I'm obsessed with my cat. And these were some of like ideas that I was thinking of. Um, and I didn't want to do the wreath because I did that two years ago. So I was like, well, I guess I could do a snow globe. So um, here was like the finished one. Here's the finished product. And so these were printed on wood, a little bell and a ribbon I tied. Really like how they turned out. Um, and there's glitter that my boyfriend put on it, which is his contribution. So super important. Um, but yeah, gotta think of ideas for this year too. So some more Inktober's and then here I tried to redraw what I did in 2016. Pretty sure I was able to do this on the plane. Didn't finish it. Um, yeah, these are all like airplane drawings. Um, I was binge watching Riverdale on the plane so I think that's why I drew Jacket. Um, and I don't think I was traveling but I think I drew this in the hotel. Um, not sure what happened to my pen. It like I don't know. Um, but yeah, more pencil and color pencil drawings. Um, yeah, just some random stuff. And then 2016, Inktober. Um, I was doing Persona 5, so obviously Persona 5. Um, and this was Inktober day 18 and day 19. So I did these two together. I, I still kind of like the concept. Um, there's some like weird like anatomy stuff, but maybe I'll like revisit this someday. 
Um, here were thumbnails that I came up with for Inktober 2017, and I only did like seven, as you'll see like later. Um, yeah, so this was Inktober 2017, and my theme that I gave myself was Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so I started with a sketch of Alfino. Um, yes, I was on the plane and watching Riverdale, so here's Cheryl. Um, uh, something random. Not sure what I was doing here, but I think I was also on the plane. Um, October 2016 sketches. Here's Alice A, uh, October 2017. So this is my second one. And I didn't really take that many materials with me, so I'm just gonna use what I had. Just highlighters and some pens. Um, there's a pen doodle from the hotel from 2017. I really like this like pink brush pen I got from an art snacks package a while ago. So just wanted to like use more brush pens and draw some stuff from reference. Um, random Final Fantasy 14 Leo Far sketch. Morning Tober. Um, Here's Yotsuyu giving me shit for slacking on my October 2017, which I never finished, so. And this was the last 2016 Inktober I did, so kind of went a little ham on that. Then in November 2016, I tried to like be really ambitious and do a drawing of food every day, and I clearly got really far, so. Um, Here's like a continuation of that commission I was gonna do for my friend. So this is like not finished. Uh, I was reading Snow Girl. So here's like the start of my 2017 sketches. Um, these post-it notes were from MSI, the Mid-Season Invitational. It was in Brazil last year. So um, when we were we had downtime, we were like just doodling on post-its. So um, these are all the our camera guys. So yeah, it's like some fun stuff. One of them drew me and here's me and Eunice, I think. Um, yeah, so this is like just like really fun and he's actually a super good artist. Oh, and I just, I put these over stuff I didn't like. Um, here's like a random sketch. Um, here's another lingerie um, like figure study. Um, really like this lingerie line called Hopeless. They're based in Australia. Um, really like their stuff, so I also like really like this pose, so I just wanted to do that. Um, and then here's another Final Fantasy XIV sketch with Chloe. Um, yeah, this bleeds through, so didn't have anything to put over it. Um, and don't really want to do marker in my moleskins anymore. So here was another picture I did from Final Fantasy XIV when I opened up my commissions. Then, um, so this is just like a concept. I also really like this sale, so. Um, and then, as you can see, this is all 2017 stuff, like when Stormblood came out. Um, there's more to you. And this wind up mini that I really wanted, and you can get now if you pre order the Stormblood art books. So I'm pretty stoked about that because it's like something I really wanted for a long time. Um, and Square giving it to us, so yeah. And then this is a picture from MSI. Um, I never finished. This was like during Mermaid and I was like traveling. So uh, I don't know why I never finished this, but this is supposed to be the SKT Mermaid. Um, okay, and then here were some concepts for January 2018, like a series of pictures I wanted to draw. And um, I actually started drawing this. So I will post that later. Um, not in this video though. Um, this I drew when Cyan Rakan got released. Um, I just really like those two champions and I really like that cinematic that came out for them. So here's like the same idea from my SAL sketch, which is like one thing and then like little chibi icons surrounding that. So just like exploring more concepts. Um, here's like Eorzean text that I was playing with because I wanted to offer that as an option in my commissions too. Um, here I tried to redraw my October sketch from 2016, but I just lost interest in it. Here's a, um, a sketch of Scout. I guess I just really liked this picture, so I was bored and I just doodled it. Um, 
Then here is a, I guess like a logo concept. Not really a logo, but like a um, sign plate concept I did for our Final Fantasy XIV free company called Tampa Ramen. And this is our um, FC leader, Law Ninja. So just like, I don't know, I just like randomly had this idea. So anyway, um, and then I would like came up with some like more like pin ideas and some colors and like rankings and you attach a ribbon. I don't really know where my brain is sometimes, but anyway, this is it. So um, here's a doodle I did from Monstrous, um, which is one of my favorite comics from last year. So yeah, just playing with my Copic brush pen. And this is actually getting published in one of their issues this year. I don't know which one, but I thought that was like really cool. So I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, I was watching Game of Thrones. I really like this photo shoot uh, that they did with time. So just kind of wanted to like practice color pencil and sketching. So, so yeah, this is it. Um, I guess I was like trying to draw an OC or something. Um, and then this was when everyone was doing the Meet the Artist meme. So I did mine and I taped it over something I don't like. So I just don't like a lot of stuff in the sketchbook. Anyway, um, okay, this is obviously when I was playing Final Fantasy 15. Uh, but yeah, I love to take insect pictures. So um, I just feel like if Prompto took insect pictures, he would take stuff like this. And these are like frames that I really want. So I just made them up. Um, Played up so prompto, so obviously, banner. Uh, this was happening during when all the Star Guardians, the second wave of Star Guardian skins got released. So I drew my own because there was like there was a hashtag going on that was my Star Guardian. So kind of just wanted to draw Star Guardian glasses. So I wear glasses, and you don't really see that too often. More Game of Thrones. So yeah, really liked Daenerys' coat, but I think everybody did. So I just wanted to play around with my brush, brush pen some more. Um, here's a, another brush pen sketch I did of a um, famous Instagram person. Um, and then this is another sketch I did from an Alice Glass music video. Just pulling our brush pen again. Um, this I drew after watching Mob Psycho. Um, I think my eczema was super bad at the time, so I couldn't really draw very well. So I just did kind of whatever. I'm not sure what I was doing here. It's, I guess my Astrologian, like I didn't finish that. Oh yeah, so here I made it better. <laughs> and then I had the scale for Lollafells, because Lollafells are so weird. Um, it's four and a half heads. That helps. This is another warm sketch. And... Um, then here's like another astrologian because I was I guess I was just doing getting through all the quests and I really like their outfits so I just wanted to kind of play around with like pencil and metallic pens um so yeah I really liked this like concept so I might do more I think this year um and then I started doing a scholar but just lost interest there's some more mob psycho sketches um and then this is the rest of my October from 2017 so yeah it's just highlighter and um pens with some brush pen and this was the last one I, yeah this was the last one i did so i think i just got too busy um and maybe lost interest uh i was playing persona 5 obviously so persona 5 uh now just doodling um, and then here's two of my like favorite girl characters, Mako and Saigi from Mitchell D. Um, and here I drew them wearing eggy clothes because I thought uh, clothes were really cute and kind of just, I don't know, I think it could fit their aesthetic. Um, and then I, I started like the Polaroid thing again, but I just didn't finish it. Um, I would see Lady Bird, and I loved it. Here's... So that was in December. And then this is when my boyfriend and I were playing Horizon Zero Dawn, so... I drew this while I was traveling, too, and I only had my color pencils. So... Um, and... This is, like, the last 
thing in this book. Um, it's just, I don't know, I was just doodling girls with caps and I have these like funny stamp markers. So I'm just playing around with that and just like, yeah, I just wanted to do more figure drawing and also like to draw hair, so. Um, and this is not part of my sketchbook, but this was the, the work, the artwork I did for my little cat charm. So that's in here too, because I did this this year or last year. Um, and then these are some, this is fine stickers from my friend, Anthony, uh, cause that was like moved last year. So anyway, I also taped it over some mixer of light and light. Um, so yeah, this was my sketchbook from 2006, middle of 2016, 2017. And, and yeah, hopefully do more sketches, um, get them organized and I'll do another video. Um, anyways, so thanks for watching this whole video if you did. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.